Welcome to our lecture online and here's another example of how to implement what we call the mean value theorem. We're supposed to find the, the number c, whatever that number is, on the interval between x equals 0 and x equals 2, such that when we take the derivative and we we'll plug that number in there, we'll get the exact same slope as when we find, when we find the slope of the straight line connecting the two points on the curve, which would be the point 0 and the function evaluated 0, uh, I mean 0 and the function evaluated 0 and 2 and the function evaluated at 2. To make any sense out of all this, because this may sound a little confusing, let's go ahead and graph it visually. It's a lot easier to see uh, what we're talking about. And we're going to use the very same uh, applications as we have learned before. Applications of, dif of differentiation, we're going to learn how to graph the function using the first derivative, local maximums, and so forth. All right, so let's start by taking derivative f prime of x is equal to 2x minus 1. And now we're going to set that derivative equal to 0, set f prime of x equal to 0 to find the local max or min. In this case, of course, we realize it's a parabola, and it has a positive first term, which means it's a parabola that opens up. So this will probably give us the minimum value of this parabola. But let's say that we didn't know that yet. All right. So first of all, we do that. So we have 2x minus 1 equals 0, 2x equals 1 x equals one half. So when x equals one half, we have a minimum value. All right, let's plug that then back into the original equation. So we have f when x is equal to one half is equal to one half squared minus one half minus two. That would be a quarter minus two and a half. That would be minus two and a quarter. So that's minus two and a quarter. So when x is equal to one half, y is minus 2 and a quarter, so let's go ahead and grab that here. So we have the, um, the y-axis, we have the x-axis, when x is equal to 1 half, so let's say this is 1, this is 2, this would be minus 1, minus 2, so when x is equal to 1 half, one, two, y is equal to minus 2 and a quarter, so that would be right about there. And we know that the slope there is 0, because that's where, the, that's uh, when we plug that value in, that's where the derivative is equal to zero. And now we have to find the endpoint. So let's plug in zero and two into our original function to see where the endpoints are of the interval. So f when x is equal to zero is equal to zero minus zero minus two, which is minus two. And f when x is equal to two is equal to two quantity squared minus two minus two. That's four minus four, which is zero. So those are the two endpoints of the interval, 0, negative 2, and, zero, uh, and 2, 0. So 0, negative 2, that's this point right there, and 2, 0, which is this point right there. So now we have three points, we can see the shape of the parabola. The interval will look like this. All right, now we're ready to apply the mean value theorem. If we now draw a line between those two endpoints, we get this line right here. And so the mean value theorem claims that there must be some point on the function right here, on the graph of the function. When we take the derivative, we get the same slope as we get when we take the line between this point and that point right there. All right, let's find out what the slope is of this line, and then let's find the derivative, set it equal to 0 to that, to that slope, and then let's find the value for x that will allow us to find that point. Okay. Let's do that next. So the slope of the line. The slope is equal to the rise divided by the run, which is equal to the change in y divided by the change in x. And the two y values are 0 and negative 2. So it would be 0 minus a minus 2 divided by the x values, which would be 2 minus 0. 2 minus 0, which is 2 divided by 2, or 1. So the slope of that straight line is 1. That makes a lot of sense. It looks like a kind of 45 degree angle. That's good. So now we're going to set the derivative equal to that slope. So set f prime of x equal to 1. And then solve that equation for x, which then that will be the point where the slope of the, of the function with the derivative will be equal to the slope of that line. All right. So the derivative here is 2x minus 1. So 2x minus 1 equals 1. That means 2x equals 2x equals 1. So when x equals 1, the slope 
of that function will equal the slope of that line. So we found our point. So therefore, c is equal to 1. And we can quickly check that right here when we take and plug 1 in there. When, so when we take the derivative, f prime, when x is equal to 1, is equal to, and here's our function right here, our derivative, 2 times 1 minus 1, which is 2 minus 1, which is 1. So that checks out this slope is equal to this slope right there. So when x is equal to 1, the slope of that function right there is equal to the slope of the line between the two points. And that's an application of the mean value theorem.